exploring, understanding, and celebrating the natural world of the San Francisco Bay Area. Bay Nature on the Air. We are in Pacific Grove. Today we're working with the monarch butterflies. The Pacific Grove area holds quite a few monarch populations and is one of the highest uh, single populations in uh, California. They look actually like big clusters of dead leaves together because when their wings are closed the very dull orange um, side is showing, that bright orange is hidden, and so many people when they're looking for the monarch butterflies will actually look right past the clusters because they won't know what they're looking at. Uh, yeah, let's count that next cluster hanging down there. It was really cold for us, but it's also really cold for them, and they're not moving around. So that gives us the opportunity to count them, because you can't count them when they're flying. We tag butterflies, and what that involves is taking each individual butterfly and placing a uniquely numbered sticker, which is about the size of your pinky fingernail, which has a toll-free telephone number. The idea then being we will get information on where they go when they leave Pacific Grove. This generation of monarch butterflies will live for about six to eight months, and then when they disperse in the spring, they will find milkweed, lay their eggs, and then that generation will die. And then there will be three, four, or even five more generations over the summer, and then in the fall, that last generation of butterflies, those are the butterflies that will then return. So they are the great grandchildren of the butterflies that were here before. as the temperature rises and the sun hits those clusters, they begin to leave the clusters one by one until the air is just full of thousands of butterflies swirling around. It's quite an amazing sight. Whoa! 